Hello from all around the world. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Blender where we're going to make some lights today and we're going to start off real basic today. If you don't know who I am, I am a two-time game maker. A recent release uh, of our last game was Yard Sales Simulator. So I am a game maker uh, and I do all my art myself. So there you go. Let's get started today. And you can go ahead and scale your stuff the way you're going to need it if you're using Blender. The uh, looking up the settings should be easy enough to adjust. And if you're using other things, I don't know what adjustments you're going to need. We're going to start off by just going a little longer and just a little bit wider on this. And we're going to start off by making a light bulb. This might not seem like the hardest item to start off making, but it's actually going to be a little bit of work. So you're going to have to hang in there with me. So... Even though this is would seem like a simple thing, it's going to be a little more than you'd think. You're going to want to make sure you're on lines up here. And we're going to go into edit mode with tab. And we're just going to go around and remove the bottom edge lines there. There's a reason for this. You're just going to have to follow me here. We're going to go ahead and pull it in. And you're, it's probably going to look like this for you. You're just going to take your mouse wheel and just roll it until you're happy with the shape the right amount and what you're looking for is like an even spacing in between each one basically and I can see the bottom obviously not very even but we'll get to that in a second so after you're done that you're gonna go ahead and push control R and it's gonna bring this ring up when you click left click you're gonna be able to move it up and down and you're just gonna select an even ish gap from it to the next one and we're going to hit S and just slowly start dragging this edge in, like so. I'm going to hit S again. You're going to say, well, Lord Fish, this does not look like a light bulb yet. Well, it doesn't yet. I'll agree with you, but hopefully we're going to get there. And we'll just keep bringing it in. This one will bring it in a lot more. We might have to adjust the size, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe a little less. You can see when the edges get to be a bit much, it's too much of an angle. So we're going to hit Control R again. And that one's pretty even there. And we're going to go up here and push Shift and select faces. Then we're going to hold Shift and push this face. We're going to shrink these two together like so. Okay. And we're just going to grab this one and we're going to try our best to match the size of the other one. Something like so. Looks like we're going to have to make a few more adjustments to make this work, but we'll get it. Let's start off by uh, taking this one, and we're just going to hit Control and left click to follow this edge around, and hopefully it grabs it all the way around. It did. And we're just going to move that up slightly to give us a little bit more room on the, on the bottom end of this, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and just drag this down until it's more of a light bulb shape that we need. Hopefully that works for you. And then we're going to go back to just faces this time. And make sure that one's just the same size as the one above it. I think it's just slightly bigger. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to hit E. We're going to go down a little bit to about there. All right. Um, kind of messes up my plan a bit, but we'll make this work. Um, we're going to hit um, Control R, and we're just going to drag this up here and leave it up near here. And it's just going to protect our edge there, and then we're going to push Control R again. We're going to drag it up there, and we're going to hit S. I'm going to drag it out a little bit. Then we're going to hit Control R, and we're going to drag it up there, and we're going to hit S and drag it in a bit. And it's just going to give us that little lip that you get on the bottom of a light bulb to screw it in with. And no, it's not gonna be in a winding pattern like it might be, but it should be good enough for the effect that you're gonna need for this. So we could probably move this one up a little bit if we want, and go ahead and hit S again. And we're just gonna do that all the way through. Maybe you want them spread out a little bit more, something like that. And we'll just grab this one. We'll hit sh uh, Control, left click, and follow it away all the way around. Actually, we're going to have to click off for Shift, left click, then follow it all the way around because we're still holding on to the edge above, and we don't want to make that mistake. We could really mess things up like so. And this one's a bit bigger, as you already know. And we'll hit Shift R, or Control R, sorry. 
and this one will be a bit smaller and it's just going to give us that rigid look that we want and just keep on doing it all the way down and you might want to make them a little bit more even than i am i'm just giving you an example and we'll just even it up at the bottom here like that so now you can see it kind of has that rigid look that you need for the bottom of the light bulb but it doesn't have one little piece and it doesn't matter to me if I have this, but I'll add it just for your, your guys' sake. Let's just wind this in, wind it in. And we're gonna hit E and extract it a little bit through the bottom. And then we're gonna stop like there probably. And then we're gonna hit Control B. And we're just gonna roll that over. And that's usually on the bottom of a light bulb. But there you have it. We have a light bulb. Um, you might want to take a couple more minutes to adjust it than I did, but there you have it in basics. We're going to shade smooth it now, and we're going to go over to normals. I'm going to change it to 35, and it should work. As you see, we might have to adjust a bit more than to make it look a little bit better, but depends if your light's going to be screwed in or not. So I'm just going to leave it for now. We could do one more thing to make it look a little more even. If you really want to, you could go ahead and add a subdivision to the surface. And it's just going to round it out a bit more, make it a little more symmetrical. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it. It looks really good. So we'll apply that. And that's done. That light bulb is done. So we're going to, sh well, actually, let's just leave it because I don't know how big or small it's going to be yet. So we'll drag it up here and we'll get our first light started and if this video is popular I will make you guys some more lights or if you guys have something else you'd like to see make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see so let's go ahead and make some sort of light or lamp surface so we were going to make sure we're out of edit mode with tab if you need to and then we're going to make a cylinder and as you could see it's a little small so let's just make it a little bigger to start off with and then we're going to stretch it this way, something like that, maybe a little bigger this way. And we're going to shrink it after, but just for we're able to work on it a little bit easier without having to uh, zip or zap out too far. So let's start off. Um, let's shift or control. Let's control R to start and we'll go down to the bottom and we're just going to leave it around here. What we're looking for is the base of the lip of the lamp. So that's going to be the basic edge to start off with. Um, I don't know exactly how we're going to do this. I have not planned this out, so let's just kind of wing it. This is going to adjust the whole shape, but stay with me. Hopefully it'll work out in the end. We'll push S, and we're just going to wind it in. And look for that sweet spot. I want a sharp edge on it like that to start off with. So maybe even more even. And maybe we'll go up just a hair like that. I like the look of that. So I'm going to hit Control R again. And I'm going to go down and select a spot randomly where I want. And I'm going to widen it like this back up again. And I don't know if I want it to be a sharp edge. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. And then we'll do Control R and bring that one down. And guess about the same distance-ish. Try to keep it kind of symmetrical. And I'll just slowly bring it out. And I'll hit Control R again, and I'll slowly. Oh, I don't know what happened to that one. Oh, oh, it's up there. All right, well, let's drag it down manually, and that's too big, so we'll just move it to the right size, like so. All right, I like that. We'll do another Control R, and this is what these lights are going to be like: is uh, these lamps. The more detail you want to put into them, the more you're going to be making more little tiny adjustments like this. And it should show up in your end result. I'm going to hit S again and just keep bringing it in now. I'm just going to try to give it a nice little rounded shape to it. And it all depends on your artistic taste and what you think looks good and what you think doesn't look good. So you're going to have to use your own taste. And go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Will you slowly design your lamp the way you want it? You can follow along with me if you'd like and try to make the same thing and uh, use it as an example for your artwork in the future. So I've got a good shape there. I really like that. It's really healthy, really uh, really even. It looks pretty good to me. So maybe we're going to go just out just slightly again. So we're going to go like that and back out on this one. 
it back. Let's do uh, actually. Let's do about even actually, and then we're gonna slowly start falling back in again to make another contour. They don't have to be perfectly even, but the more even they are, the easier it is to be able to color it more evenly and things like that. If you'd like to put a, da a design or a certain coloration specific. And as you can see, it's really taken shape now. It's really looking beautiful. And again, this, this video is probably going to be a little long, but if you want something to look nice, you got to take the time to make it look nice. There we go. Kind of keep going in. We need to go in farther because we're getting close to the top of the lamp. And I think it's looking pretty good. And we'll go in a, even a little farther. And let's take this one and go like this. And I just placed it and then dragged it down, giving it that really sharp edge to there. Let's do this. And then this. And then let's drag it down. Maybe a little bit more in. And as you can see, it's pretty much the late lamp shape I want now. I'm going to go up to the top. And I'm just going to close this one in for it's a little easier to see what we're doing and make it a little more even in the end. I think we got to go in a little farther, like about there. So let's fix this up. Bring that one up there and bring it open. Actually, maybe bring it closer like that. In there, I think I've got a pretty good lamp shape. If you would like for your coloring, you can just go ahead and evenly break some of these up in here, like so. Just by rolling the inner part of your mouse after you control R and decide what looks even to you. And you can decide and place it or you can just right click and let it auto center itself, almost guaranteeing that it'll be auto centered. And we'll add one up there and I'll just let it auto center. And that way for our coloring, we're able to have a little bit more possibilities. And I like the look of our lamp. Um, obviously our light is a little bit big for it. So let's bring it down now. And we'll just shrink it until it makes sense, until it's the right size for our light. Something like so. Okay. How do we make this plug in here? All right. Um, Let's, sorry about that noise. That's my thinking noise. Let's hit I, and we'll just bring it in a little bit. And we're going to hit E, and we're going to bring it up a little bit. And then we're going to hit I, we're going to bring it in a little bit. And then we're going to hit E, and we're going to bring it down a little bit. All right, so we got something that should work. We may have to make our light, our lamp a little bit bigger. Let's make them fit each other, and then we'll shrink them together. Something like so. If you're going to make multiple lamps, you might want to take this time to copy your light before you've actually added it to your lamp so that it's not a permanent item. And you do that with just Shift D and drag this off to the side. And then if you want to attach that to your light, you are more than welcome to do so. And you can do that by Control J, but I'm not sure if we're going to do it because we might be missing some steps here. As you can see, this light's made a pretty good shape. Um, for our lamp. The only thing I'm thinking that we're missing is a way to hold the lamp shade up. It's usually a shape that goes around this and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to make it. So let's try to think about it a little bit, see what we can come up with. Um, we're going to control A and we'll go ahead and make a square and we're going to bring it up here and we're just going to mimic the shape that we need. Something like this, obviously not like this, but something like this and we're going to make it Let's make it two dimensional, basically a flat piece with the shape of our light out of it, obviously. And this is part of the reason I left it loose for now is, oops, for we can still make some adjustments if we need to. All right, so let's first go ahead and mimic this shape a little better, I guess. Something like that. Bring this up here. All right. Um, Let's take these two edges and curl them. Oops, not that one, this one. And then Control B, just wrap it around and basically get the kind of the same shape as the light. Looks pretty good to me. All right, let's, um, 
let's also add a cut. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's go back before we curve that. Apparently, I forgot about one thing. You can't cut after, well, you can't cut that way after you've already curved it. So while it's still a square, we'll take this. And we're going to, why did I want to do this? I already forget why I wanted to do this. And we're going to put it down there. I'll see why in a minute, hopefully. <laughs> All right. All right, so we'll take that and that, and we'll curve them. And I don't know this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. And we'll just get it pretty even. And this should help us match up the size a little bit better. And we just need to be on the bottom side of this. Let's do one of these, actually. That's probably pretty good there, isn't it? Um, so... Let's take this bottom edge and this bottom edge and let's try to bring them in and see how it looks. And that's probably why I wanted to cut it early is because then we'd be able to do this without affecting the whole piece basically. It's got about the right shape. Maybe we'll see if we can bring these two in a little bit. And you're thinking little lord fish that does not look very good and you're right it does not look very good. So let's go ahead and shift D it then, if it doesn't look so good. And we're going to drag this piece out, and we're going to shrink this piece down. And we're just going to do one of these. And um, we are going to have to make sure that it goes a certain distance, that it cuts out the other piece all the way through. So we're just going to drag this just a hair down farther than the other one. It should just leave us with a nice little clean piece may not be exactly what you were thinking, but I think it's going to work. And there we go. Oh, why is it? It looks like it might be hitting on one side there. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Something like this. Shrink it down like that. You know what we should do? Let's bring this like that. And then we will make... Oh, you know what we'll do, actually. Let's do that. I'll drag that up a little bit. Yeah, that works. And maybe we'll put a ring around here that'll hold that. And I think that's actually how they're attached. Obviously, there's a little bit of adjustments that need to be done. Um, you can see most of this is a little bit bigger than the rest of it, thicker. So we just grab this all the way to the second last one there. And we drag it up. And it should make it look a little more even. And we can shade smooth it to help as well and we can also put a subdivide on it as well as we if we would like to but let's see if we can fix it up this way first that looks pretty good it doesn't look like it's going to change so let's just put it at 35 and we might have to make some small adjustments after to clean up the look of it but I think it looks okay anyways so next we're going to go ahead and make that other piece so we're going to need and so we'll make a cylinder. Oops, we're going to have to undo that. Push tab out of edit mode and then make the cylinder because otherwise it is going to be attached and going to cause some issues. Something like this. And we'll drag it into place and we'll shrink it down a little bit. See what we're dealing with. Sorry, just trying to grab it up and down here. Something like that, and then we drag it out a little bit until it fits. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe we give it a gap here, and we move that one up a bit. And then it's hidden in there, and it's doing its job. Let's take this before we do that and move it up here, because I got another piece I got to make. So this could be use a hole in it. It's up to you if you want to take the time to do it. This is how I would put a hole in it if I wanted one. Shift D it, grab this piece, and then bool. Difference. And now this piece has a hole in it, as you can see. And it's exactly the size of the lamp. If you want to leave a gap in there for you can see it a little better, just drag it out with S just a hair. Oh, cool. People playing my game. If I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but... People logging on to my game. Cool people. All right. Control J to attach. 
And again, you may have to do a little bit of cleanup on little tiny edges like here and here. As you can see, they're just a bit out of place. Oops, that's a little too much. But it's not going to matter too much because your lampshade's going to cover up most of this, but try your best to make it look as okay as you can. <laughs> Might not be the best way to make that piece, to be honest, but there we go. I'm just going to speed through this video anyways. Let's drag this piece out. And here is what your lampshade is going to rest on. So this is going to be a little piece that holds it from falling off the top. We just got to make sure it's a little smaller than that piece for the edges aren't sticking out the side. Something like that. should be auto-centered, so it should be right. Um, you, you can see the little tiny edge sticking out on either side. Now it's gone. So that looks right. We can control J to it. And then that's attached into one piece now. All right. We got our light bulb. We got our light. We got just about everything we need. It will take a couple seconds to color things right now. And also to shade smooth them. There we go. And that way you can kind of examine to see if you're going to have any weird issues. At this point, you could also apply a subdivide. If anything looks a little weird, it might fix it up, as you can see. And then if you're happy with the results, you can uh, change them underneath or you can apply it. I think that looks pretty good, so I think I'm just going to apply it. I think that's a good looking lamp. Um, and for coloring now. So you can see what it's done by adding a subdivide. It's divided it exactly evenly all the way through your piece. So if you were to do some tricky coloring, it should work out pretty well. So let's start doing some coloring. I'm going to do a basic pattern on this, but you'll get the idea. I'm not sure a good, a good color for a lamp, but it doesn't matter because you're just setting a slot for you can color it in your game. So we should be seeing our color now. There we go. And we probably want to give it a few more colors than that. So um, let's just take this edge here and we're going to oops, grab it from the beginning again. And then control left click. Just don't go too far. You'll have what I had happen where it just doesn't grab the right spot you're trying to. You'll be able to follow it around. Um, it's up to you if you want to keep going or if this is good. I'm going to do just do a little tiny color change for an accent to make it look a little um, more spiffy. And as you can see, it really helps. Maybe I'll do another one up here somewhere, maybe here. Just make sure you stay on the same line and you don't change lines and you should be good. And I'm just left click and then control left click all the way around. And as you can see, we've given it some cool little patterns to make it look just a little bit nicer. All right, and we're up to this piece now. So let's take uh, these two and just move them up just like this, okay? And we'll click on this piece and we'll go into edit mode and let's just go around this ring right here. I think it's just a little off for me. I just wanna make one adjustment just to make it, oh, I'm trying to grab too far away. Oh man, <laughs> here we go. Control left click, control left click, control left click. You may have to move yourself around while you're doing this. Tell you got the full edge. And I'm just gonna make this, oops, and you can shift left click to get rid of that wrong one. Just gonna make it a little sharper, basically. Like so, and then I'm gonna switch to faces. I'm gonna click off, and then I'm gonna grab the whole face like so. Oh, I'm not on faces, that's why that didn't work. Up here. There we go. And we'll just make sure we do this all the way around. And we're going to make this a coppery color because it's going to be the top of the light. And you should be able to just box grab them all like that. And if you missed any, just come at it slightly. Oh, jeez, I grabbed a bunch I didn't mean to. There we go. If you grab some of the wrong ones, you can always back up and just try it at a different angle. We got them all now. So I'm just going to plus add on another color. We'll make this a brassy type color. Again, it doesn't matter. We're just assigning a slot. And there we go. 
And we got ourselves a nice little lamp. We got ourselves a light bulb, which needs coloring. So let's go ahead and add the coloring to that. And it should be easy enough. Make the, uh, yeah, let's make the first half that color. And we'll assign it in edit mode. And we may have to move the other piece there because we need this whole bottom half to be gray here. Now I'm going to try to box grab it. I grabbed a little too far. You can usually box grab this stuff and get it all pretty easily. You just got to make sure you don't go too high, basically. <laughs> and any ones you miss, you can slowly grab them after. That's a lot of tiny, tiny pieces to grab, I gotta say. There we go. Is that a clean grab? As you can see, I missed a few here, so you can go like this. And that's clean now. And it looks like we got some we don't need here. Let's just try to grab it, I guess. And we'll go ahead and we'll make this piece gray. Sorry, I'm getting a little caught up in this trying to grab these. I'm just going to, if I miss a few, I'm just going to come back to it. Yeah, I did miss a few too. And we can box grab some of these. Again, it might take a couple minutes to get them all the right color, but it looks like we got it now. So next we're going to take this piece. Oops, sorry. We're going to grab this piece, go in edit mode, and we're going to hit L. Actually, I don't even think we need to do that. We can just add one base color, and it should be good enough for the whole thing. And we'll make it a brassy color again to kind of blend in with the other one. Again, it doesn't really matter. So that's colored. That's colored. So let's grab them both and put them back into place. And let's just why does that look like that? All right, that's a little better. I don't know why that was happening. Um, the one last thing you might want to do is delete this, replace it with this one because it's colored already, and it just saves you from having to do that again. And that way, when you make a, uh, sorry about that, when you make um, a different light, you already have the bulb already prepared. So the only thing we're missing from this is a lamp shade. So let's quickly throw that together. Let's get it done, the Lord Fish way, whatever way we can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's probably terrifying as you're here <laughs> watching the video. All okay. right. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger. That's a little bit smaller. So first off, let's grab both of them and just hit I, like so. Now, I know what we'll do. We'll hit Shift D, and we're just gonna stretch this one out, and then hit S, like so. And we're gonna bool one from the other. And it's going to make us a lab shape, shape, which is perfect, which is easy, right? So you may want to adjust it, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you need to do. The last thing we need to do is make a part that goes in the inside of this that holds that light. So what I can do is we can, oops, sh grab this piece and let's try this. What happens if we just make it like this? Oops, you can see when it flips its axis. Maybe we won't use that piece. Let's delete that. Let's shift A and we will make another cylinder. Okay. Let's move it up for we can see it, for we can work on it a little bit. Oopsies. I moved away from it too far. Where am I? Where am I? There we go. Got lost. All right. Um, so we'll shift D. And we will drag this one through because it has no angle in it. It should say stay perfect when we crush it. So we'll do the same thing. We'll bool difference. And let's make this one really thin like so. 
and then we'll stretch it. And then we're going to make it thin again. And now we'll move it down inside of the lamp for it makes sense that it holds things up. Oh, this one's going to be kind of hard to place, I guess, eh? Let's see if I can get in there. Oh, wow, it's hard to work in here, but I'm sure you can figure it out. So it looks like this needs to go up a bit. And we'll pull this lamp out for now. Actually, attach that to this. Control J, and we'll drag them both out of the way. That way the lamp's already set up. All right, so we need this to attach to the other piece. So let's see if we can see this. Make them both a little bigger, actually, to probably help the work on them. I'm going to just shrink them after. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just run a crossbar, basically, and it should auto-center itself, and that's good enough. And we'll just have to punch a cylinder hole in this. And I got an idea how we'll do that after. We just need to make it the right size, basically. But I'm getting in a rush. It looks like some people need my help. So I need to go. And some stuff about my game. It looks like they're stuck or something. So I need to go help them out. And we'll just shrink it and make sure that this edge stays inside of this other piece. For we don't have an ugly edge. Sticking through, popping out colors, making it flash. Go a little more just to make sure. And it is through the bottom still. So there's another way you got to check and just make sure that you're... Let's shrink it more. We keep on going through the edges. I just don't want it to be sticking through. Perfect. Something like that. Now... Make sure we're not sticking through the other edges. <laughs> we'll grab that other piece. We'll, oh no, let's not do that yet, actually. Let's look here, because what we need to do is make sure that we shift D this first, and then we take this whole thing, and we lift it up until we can see that edge poking through. too thick so let's thin it out it's probably gonna look a little better anyways it's like so yeah that one's a little thick too so maybe we'll thin that out as well yeah that looks a lot better okay so now this piece is now through this piece not sure if it's the right amount but we're just gonna have to hope so here <laughs> we'll see in the end but Put it up just a little bit just in case and we made an extra one of these so we'll bool this from that bool difference and we now have a hole for that to sit in oh this is hard to see we'll grab that we'll grab that we'll control j and we will grab that grab this and we should be able to walk them both down now until they sit on the light perfectly Again, this might be a little hard to place. And then all you got left to do is to oh, pull it just a little bit up. There we go. Then all you got to left to do is to color your lampshade, which is massive. I forgot about that. There we go. That probably makes more sense. Oh, I should have did that whole after. Maybe do your whole after. There you go. I forgot about how the fact I made it so big to make it a little easier to work on. Oh, and you know what? That middle piece wasn't supposed to shrink either. Just drag it to the right size. There you go. And we'll 
have to move this up, it looks like. But you get the idea. I gotta go, really, but um, you get the idea. And we'll finish the lampshade. Um, if you want to add some secondary colors, you can obviously do it this way, or we could do it the simpler way and add a subdivide. And that way, our coloring schemes will be a little bit better. Perfect. Oh, kind of ruined the top, but let's see if we can fix that up. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I do not know why that happened. I'm guessing that didn't work out. Well, let's go back. Uh, we can just cancel that too. Maybe we'll just cancel that. But you get the idea. And we just need to color our lamp. You might have to manually drag this through, but you get the idea. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will be back with something fun again soon. Um, if you got any ideas, let me know in the comments. And we'll get to it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.